what are the 9 best bodyweight bicep exercises available. In this series, I'm gonna walk you through the 9 best bodyweight bicep exercises for bigger and stronger biceps. <laughs> Hey, it's Oscar from GoPrimate here, and in part one of this series, we're gonna quickly run through all of the nine best bodyweight bicep exercises. So if all you wanna do is to find out what the nine exercises are and move on with your life, then this video has got you covered. So we're gonna start with the compound bicep exercises. Now the first one is going to be chin-ups, a very old school exercise, but very effective for the biceps, because again, we're using a supinated group here, which is gonna put a lot of emphasis on the biceps. And yes, you will still be training your lats quite a lot here, but it's going to be a very great bicep mass builder. And even people like Charles Poliquin spoke very highly of chin-ups as a bicep exercise. The next one is going to be single ring chin-ups. So very similar to chin-ups, but now we have our hands even closer, which is going to put even more emphasis on the biceps. And the reason why we do this on a ring instead of on a pull-up bar is that it's going to be slightly more wrist friendly this way. So because the ring is round, it allows you to have your wrist in a slightly more comfortable position. And in my opinion, this is probably one of the best bicep mass builders available at all in general. Exercise number three is going to be supinated ring rows. Same thing here, you're still training the back and the lats, but we have the supinated grip here, and that grip is going to be putting a lot of emphasis on the biceps. Let's move on to the bicep isolation exercises. The first one being supinated ring bicep curls. So here you're going to be having a supinated grip, which is going to be the palms facing up, and again, this grip is going to be putting a lot of emphasis on your biceps, and this is just a very basic bicep curl basically on rings. The next isolation exercise is going to be rope ring bicep curls. So here you're going to be wrapping a rope around one gymnastic ring, doing a basic bicep curl, but at the top you're going to be rotating the, your hands or your wrists outwards as much as you can, have a good squeeze and return. Now this rotation movement is going to be targeting your brachialis muscle and to my knowledge, a developed brachialis muscle is going to be making the arm a little bit wider. The third isolation exercise is going to be elbows flared out ring bicep curls. This is really random actually, but to my knowledge, this type of movement is going to be targeting the long end of the bicep more, and once again, giving you more of that overall developed arms. The last bicep isolation exercise we have here is going to be pelican curls. This one is really cool because it allows you to get that really good and intense stretch component in as well, and followed by a really full contraction. This is actually the body weight equivalent to a declined seated dumbbell bicep curl, because your elbow is going to be behind your body, giving you a really intense bicep stretch, and from here you get that really full contraction. So let's move on to the more uncommon bicep exercises now. The first one being supinated back lever holds. Now this is a straight arm exercise, which is something that gymnasts do a lot of, and I feel like this is quite a realistic straight arm exercise compared to the more advanced and extreme straight arm exercise that gymnasts do. So it's very doable for most people. And just to give you a reference here, this is something that the US gymnast coach Christopher Summers mentioned on one of the Team Ferris podcast episodes, that one of the main reasons why gymnasts have such developed biceps is because the amount of straight arm work they do. And therefore I think it's good to throw some amount of straight arm work in there. And I think the supinated back lever is a really good one because it's not so extreme as some of the other ones that gymnasts do. And it's very doable for most people. I will tell you one thing though, and that is that this puts a lot of stress on your bicep tendon and on the connective tissue in your elbows. So you need to be very, very careful with this because you really want to make sure that the, the connective tissue and the bicep tendon, they have time to adapt and get stronger because it takes way longer for them to adapt than it takes for the muscle to adapt. Even if your muscles are strong enough to do this position or hold this position, then your bicep tendon and the connective tissue in your elbows might not be. The next uncommon one is going to be rope climbs. Now rope climbs are really fun and that's a really cool exercise. I'm a big fan of this. Just to give you another reference here, on the same Team Ferris podcast episode with Christopher Summers, he mentioned that right after straight arm work, the next biggest contributor 
to the big biceps of gymnasts is actually high volume rope climbs. So that gives us some confidence in that rope climbs are a great exercise. So rope climbs are a really great bicep mass builder and strength builder. And it's also a fun and exciting skill, right? So it's a strength skill, which means that you can progress in this skill to a new level. And that's always fun and exciting. And also it kind of makes you feel like a ninja and you know, who doesn't want to feel like a ninja when they're training? I, I know I do. <laughs> I want to be a mystical ninja, bro. I want to pop out, pop out a tree and kick someone in the face type of And so rope climbs are a great way to build big biceps, get strong in general, and feel like a ninja and develop a new skill that you can take and progress to a new level. Now, if you want to see more detailed tutorials on all of these nine bodyweight bicep exercises, then feel free to continue on with the series to see how to perform all these different exercises for the best results. Now that's all to share with you this time guys. I hope you liked this video and if you did like the video then please go ahead and leave this video a like, it's highly appreciated and subscribe to the channel for more tips on how to optimize your body weight, ring and at home fitness training. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye bye.